want to say thank you for all of my new subscribers, everybody who has uh, uh, subscribed to my videos. Today we're going to go over uh, another one of Israel Hooten's songs. It's on this new album, The Power of One, uh, Moving Forward, okay? Um, now, it's in the key of A, and what we're going to do is I'm going to play a little bit of the song, then we'll talk about what I'm doing, and then I'll play another part of the song, so we'll do it in sections. So, let's start with the intro. <laughs> chord here um, what's it called I don't have any idea okay maybe that's your homework assignment find out what this chord is called I tried to look it up I couldn't find it but what it is is if you know how to play a C major chord that's a C major you just move that up a whole step two frets that's one two exact same chord form uh, it's just, you just have your uh, the root note at the D there so that's all I'm doing and I'm just arpeggiating. By the way, this song is best, it's easiest to play with your fingers, finger picking. So work on that. That's another uh, thing you can improve there. So just arpeggiating there. You can figure that out. All right. And then my first chord here is this A2 chord. Right? So I play that. One, two, three, four. I just kind of strum it out. And then I slide to the seventh fret. Excuse me. That's on the G string. So, and then I slide back down. Okay, and then this is a kind of a weird chord. I don't know what this chord is called either. But technically, I'm not. Uh, I'm playing all of these strings open. Okay, I got my finger here, my uh, my middle finger here, anchored on the A string second fret. That's a B note. But I actually don't play that note. Uh, I just use it to help anchor my hand. Just makes it more comfortable for me. You can do it however you want. But I'm just playing this E, D, G, and B string open. So and then I'm sliding, then I'm coming down to the seventh fret once again. But now I'm on the B string. I'm sliding down a whole step. So the first one is this A2. That's on the G string. And then the second one is. That's, that slide is on the B string. Then I go to this F sharp minor 11th. Right? I talked about this chord a little bit in my other tutorial, uh, the Lord You Are Good tutorial by Idra Hoon. Watch that for, for more instruction on that. But I just strum that. I'll pick that. Then to this G major. Alright? So that's the intro. Next part of the song. It goes into this, uh, this is just kind of doing a kind of a precursor to the end of the song where it crescendos is uh, this part of the song here. Now, the way I play that, I'm actually picking it out. All right, and all I'm doing is I'm creating, the melody is created. Uh, by the uh, the high E string here. So I'll start with this D major. This is the first chord. Just a regular old D major. Then I slide that D major up a whole step. Same exact fingering. Then I put my pinky down on the E string. This would be like just like if I was playing a D suspended right down here. So this would be like me putting my pinky down. It's like, like me playing a D suspended but of course I'm in a different position. So is actually an, an E suspended, which is what is which is what this is. An E, this is an E suspended with a D in the bass. So I'm going, pulling it up, coming back down to the D major, and then I lift my middle finger up off the E string, and that creates the last part of the melody. Then the second part, this is an F sharp minor. What all I'm doing is barring the second fret. The bottom three strings, so that's G, B, E, G, B, E, just barring the G, B, and E string. And then with my uh, ring finger here, 
I got my root note, which is the F sharp. So that's all that is. And then he plays a straight up uh, E major. Plain Jane E major, all right? Now he goes back into the, uh, the verse. All right, and then and on the second verse, he actually does this number right here where he repeats this, uh, this chord progression here. If you recall the song, you recall that part. So all he's doing there is just going from this A2 chord, all right, to this F sharp minor 11th, to the other chord that I told you I didn't know what the name of it was. But I'm anchoring my finger on that B note on the A string. All right, so that's all he's doing there. Now, on the second verse, going from the second verse, before he goes into the crescendo part, there's a little walk up here, and I want to show you this here. Now, so he just starts out with that A2. Whoa. Uh, let me just show you what I'm doing this way here. This is A2 chord here. Then I go to this. This is essentially like a B over D. If you were playing your G major and you had your these two notes here on the B and the E string, third fret, all right, you would just uh, basically take your finger off of that uh, off of the G on the E string, and then just use that. You already got your finger on that uh, B, so, so that's all that is. It's kind of like a B over D or B over G, however you want to look at it, or B over G, uh, B over D suspended. Then he goes to this C sharp minor, then to D major, then to this E major, throw a little E suspended in there, back to the D major, to the F sharp minor 11, to back to the G major. All right, so that's all he's doing there. All right, and then he goes back to this part. that but the second part of that is this is essentially an F sharp uh, over an E major what I'm doing is on that on an F sharp minor I'm playing that F sharp with my uh, ring finger but then I'm using my index finger to play it the second time and barring it right there basically barring that whole fret from the D string down but then I'm putting my middle finger here on the B string, fifth fret. Then I'm going. Then the second part there, when he uh, on the turnaround there, on, at the end of the uh, uh, of the chorus there, this this is just an A major to an E major. So that A major to the E major, pretty simple. Now, the final part of the song is at the very end of the song, the chords change. It's D major seventh. All right. Then it goes from there to a C sharp, C sharp minor seventh, to a B minor seventh, to an E sus nine. All right. Now. This E sus nine is really easy. You're just gonna play that E on the on the on the A string, seventh fret there. You're just gonna bar the whole seventh fret from the uh, A string down. Right? Then it's back to that D to A. To the A E. Here's how it sounds when you put it all together. 